1967, I think, uh, console stereo, made by originally made by uh, Webcore. And the way that uh, I had went through and rebuilt this, that this was a Sony, a shelf model stereo that I had had. I happened to have it on hand, and I replaced it. And originally inside here, uh, what there was, uh, it was just a record rack, an album rack, and part of this was also enclosed. Somewhere along from where you see, uh, along through here, all the way up to there, that was enclosed because that was the original 8-track uh, housing also. And up here in this part is where the original receiver used to set. As soon as I get this lamp to set out of the way. And what I have done, I happen to have a separate uh, CD player which I am eventually going to replace with a CD changer. I just hadn't got around to it yet. Uh, and of course, when I left that part open, uh, you probably can't see it too well. The lighting's not the greatest. Uh, there we are. I, 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 I can show you a little bit better now. Uh, but anyways, I left that open for ventilation. And of course, on the back, uh, I've also and something else, being a 1967, uh, I'm not really too sure. This looks like a printed uh, wood that this uh, cabinet is made of. But this part here, the way it looks, it looks like that it's real wood. So I don't really know too much about web core. I don't know what kind of how uh, how durable they were or about the quality. Uh, I'm gonna guess it was probably a lesser expensive line. And I think that it's around, that it was built around 1967. Uh, as soon as I put this back on, I will set it down and I will pull it from the wall. Okay, right there, uh, it's probably not going to focus in too well. Uh, it says it's a model 6040 by Webcore Electronics. It doesn't give a date. There was somewhere here, I don't remember exactly where it was I saw, and I think it might have been on the original receiver that it was in here. And there's a tag, it's stamped, looks like 82711. Uh, I really can't tell too much. There's a staple that runs right through it, so it's kind of illegible. I haven't been able to find any kind of information on this particular model right there. I've drilled some holes in the back for uh, ventilation. And also on this side here is the original uh, turntable. It is a four-speed turntable. I haven't seen very many of those before in my life. Uh, so I don't know when exactly they phased out a 16 RPM. But I've seen the 33s, the 45s, and the 78s. But I've never seen a 16. And I will just turn it on real quick to demonstrate the sound.
This is WQXC, a local top 40 station located in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. A pretty good station. I haven't done anything to the speakers yet. I, I, I hadn't exactly figured out what I want to do. The original ones are rated at like 2 watts at the most. And it's already exceeded that at just the volume that it's on right now. Yeah, it's right at 5 o'clock now, so all the news uh, broadcasts are going on. And it wants to do it wants to do an automatic search for some reason on the stations I can't make it uh, I can't make it manually tune and I haven't figured out exactly how to stop that yet Here's our local country station. So it sounds pretty good so far, but like I said, it just needs different speakers. It needs speakers with a little, with a better capacity anyway. And then, like I said, I'm thinking it's a 1967 model. Not really too sure. And I didn't, I tried to fix the original receiver in it that was located in here like I said but I it just it had a lot of static in it and it would not pick up and I really didn't know exactly how to troubleshoot it and so I just gutted it but anyways that's my 1967 circa uh, web core console stereo and I thank you for watching <laughs>